tonight caught in the crosshairs. Minnesota cements itself as a battleground state with dual the presidential campaign stops from both President Donald Trump and his challenger, Joe Biden. The president touting jobs in the Iron Range during a pit stop in Bemidji, and Biden promoting a message of unity and hope at a union hall in Hermantown. We're unpacking a busy day for politics in the Gopher State. We're also learning Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has died. We look back on her life. Good evening, I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. We have a ton of news to get to tonight. We're going to get to the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg in just a few minutes. But first, we have to unpack a huge day politically for the state of Minnesota. Fighting for the American worker. That was Democratic nominee Joe Biden's message today as he made a campaign stop in northern Minnesota. Kristen was following the former VP's visit. Kristen, what did he focus on well in town? Tony, Biden honed in on the things that built the northern part of the state, including unions and mining, in hopes of keeping Minnesota blue come November. It wasn't long after touching down at Duluth's Monaco Air that Mr. Biden got to work, hoping to win the votes of Minnesotans, especially those here in the Northland. It's time to take the country back, folks. It's going to start here today with voting in Minnesota. Presidential hopeful Joe Biden spent his time in the Northland meeting with union members, highway interchange project, residents, and local firefighters. While making his pitch to Minnesotans, Biden focused on the importance of unions, good paying jobs, and creating an economy that works for every American, no matter their economic status. I have a big ambitious plan that bets an American worker. My plan is going to create millions of good paying jobs, building the products and technologies that we need now and in the future. And it starts with a pretty basic idea. When the government spends taxpayers money, we should spend that money to buy American products made by American workers. Part of that plan includes improving infrastructure and broadband across the U.S. and right here at home. We're going to invest over time two trillion dollars to build resilient infrastructure. Roads, bridges, ports, right here along with these great, great lakes. 1.5 million new affordable housing units. High-speed broadband for every American household. More important than ever as we are educating our children from home because there's no plan how to open our schools. The former VP spoke about the ongoing response to the pandemic. So many lives lost unnecessarily because the president is only worried about the stock market and his re-election. And building up the middle class. So it's about time we start to pay essential workers for the fact that they're essential. The blinders have been taken off the American people. I think they're ready. They're ready to insist that a minimum wage be $15 an hour. Biden also spoke about health care and his plans should he take office. I have a clear plan. I guarantee I'll low, lower prices in America for drugs by allowing Medicare to negotiate drug prices, which he said he would do. The House and Senate were ready to do it, and he said he'd veto it if he got it. While recounting the last four years, Biden said President Trump's leadership is not what the country needs moving forward. So it's time to stand up. Democrats and Republicans, I said last night, I don't know, my colleagues know sometimes Democrats get mad at this. I'm running as a Democrat, but I'm gonna be president of the United States, not president of the Democratic Party. Biden made one final plea to voters. Choose his name on the ballot come November. We must unite this country. It's the only way we can move forward. And I believe the American people are ready for it. Biden was introduced by Minnesota U.S. Senators Tina Smith and Amy Klobuchar, who both vouched for the former VP and his commitment to the American worker. After speaking at the Union Hall in Hermantown, Biden headed to Canal Park. He met for a few minutes with Duluth Mayor Emily Larson and some supporters outside Amazing Grace. We caught up with Mayor Larson afterwards, who said they covered several topics in those few minutes. Here we talked about the economy, we talked about jobs, we talked about construction and everything that's happening. He, of course, was just at the uh, Union Hall up in Hermantown, and, and then he talked about his family and his values, and it was just a really great conversation. Minnesota Governor Tim Walls was also there. Before leaving town, Biden made one last stop at the Duluth Fire Department headquarters. There, he spoke with the firefighters on duty. The International Firefighters Union has endorsed Biden. 
Local chapter president Pete Johnson says while in office, Biden worked to get money and equipment to fire departments nationwide. Johnson says the presidential candidate also has personal ties to the service. He's had some personal tragedies in his life where firefighters have uh, rescued his sons when they were in a car accident, a uh, fire in his home, things like that. So he's always had a pretty personal connection to firefighters and the fire service. Johnson says they're always happy to welcome elected officials and community leaders to the firehouse to talk about what they do. And while Biden's visit was welcomed by many, hundreds of Trump supporters gathered near the union hall he was speaking at. Those we spoke with say, while they couldn't make it to Trump's rally in Bemidji, they were glad they could make their voices heard here. And we're going to get to President Trump's Bemidji visit in just a second, but first we have to check in on the weather with Dave. Dave, this used to be your favorite day for some reason. Yeah, meteorologically speaking, it was very interesting, but okay. not anymore. And I'll show you why with the Almanac. We take a look at the records. Record high temp, 84 from 1984. The record low, 29 from 1929. Oh, that was a good joke every year. But today we ruin it by setting a new record at 28 degrees. It was that cold. Duluth and Hibbing, both record colds this morning. But... That's it for a while. We're starting to get a warm-up now, so say goodbye to the cold as that high-pressure cell with the cooler air from the north retreats back to the north, and we'll say hello to a surge of warmer southern air coming into our region. We split the difference for the weekend. We're going to be getting high temps for the weekend, perhaps in the mid-60s, which is back to normal after a three-day cold snap. Sunday is a sign we get warmer than normal, and by Monday... We could be into the 70s for a couple of days. In a few minutes, I'll talk about how long that temperature trend will last, and I'll also talk about one of our few rain chances this week. That all in just a bit. All right, thanks, Dave. Back to our political coverage tonight, President Donald Trump spoke to thousands at a Bemidji rally. It was one of his great American comeback rallies. CBS 3's John Cardinelli was there and brings us the highlights from the nearly two-hour speech. Donald Trump visited Bemidji on Friday for his great American comeback tour. I just want to say hello, Minnesota. We love you, Minnesota. You're great. great, great, great. Trump started his speech talking about refugee resettlement, right, saying if re elected, he would not allow dangerous refugees Fire into the MC county, policy. something Beltrami County knows about after refusing refugee resettlement in the area early this year. Refugees from the most dangerous places in the world, including Yemen, Syria, and Somalia. Congratulations, Minnesota. A 700% increase. Good luck, Minnesota. Enjoy yourselves. President Trump also touched on riots in Minneapolis. I didn't want the National Guard. Joe Biden said you shouldn't send the National Guard. I pushed and I got it approved. The National Guard went in. It ended within, what do you say, half hour? It was about a half an hour. You wouldn't have Minneapolis. You better remember this when you go and vote. Trying to turn the state red for the first time in 48 years. A driving force behind the president's visit. Motivating factor since he lost it in 2016. And while thousands were at the president's rally, hundreds were outside voicing concerns over the president's visit to Bemidji. Those who were in attendance were of all ages and ethnicities. Organizers of the event say they wanted to let President Trump know they don't feel he accurately represents their community and the tribal land. Event organizers encourage people to educate themselves and not follow trends. They also encourage people to register to vote in order to make their voices heard. When people don't represent my values appropriately, I let them know that they're not representing my values appropriately. And um, yeah, so we're just trying to hold this space in a good way and, 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 and just let people know that treaties matter. That while there were some counter-protesters in attendance, the rally was peaceful. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, a Supreme Court justice has died at the age of 87. We have the details coming up. And here's a quick look at the low temps this morning. They fell into the 20s. Just about everybody had them in the region here this morning. But a warm-up is already starting to work towards us, and we'll talk about how long it will last right after our break. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Healthy Systems USA Flash Sale. Two-month program, one-month price. It's like getting one month for free. Buy it for yourself or split it with a friend. Lose up to one pound of fat a day. If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA. Introducing the most capable Sierra lineup ever. 
Step up to GMC and get 6,000 purchase cash on most 2020 Sierra light duty crew cab models. Visit your Lake Country GMC dealer. I've got one for you. See, you care. Health plan demystifiers and sleeve roller uppers. You care. Health plan demystifiers and sleeve roller uppers. <laughs> Sounds so good when you say it. 96% of all providers accept you care because they rock so hard. 96% of all providers accept you care because they ride so hard. <laughs> Can we even pull over? <laughs> What's our tagline? You care, people powered health plan. So good. The saying goes when one door closes, another opens. So, what are you waiting for? Open the door to a new home bright with possibilities. Fresh new beginnings. Play like a kid again. Enjoy life after nine to five. We're here to help open the door to new possibilities. Superior Choice Credit Union, this is our currency. Visit superiorchoice.com for a branch near you. A smile has the power to get you feeling all right. At Aspen Dental, it's all right to smile again with dentures starting at just $3.99. We craft them in our on-site labs from start to finish so they never leave our office and you never have to worry. And with dentures made in as little as a day, you can smile right on schedule. Relief you need at a price you can afford. Right fit, right quality, right price. At Aspen Dental, it's all right to smile again. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL today. Healthy Systems USA Flash Sale. Two-month program, one-month price. It's like getting one month for free. Buy it for yourself or split it with a friend. Lose up to one pound of fat a day. If you've got that, don't worry about that. Healthy Systems USA. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. Now, the CBS 3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Yeah, cold records were broken this morning in Duluth at the airport and in Hibbing, and every town dropped into the 20s, but now that's faded away. Tonight, not so frosty. Here's a beautiful sunset picture coming of the bridge here in Duluth, just a block or two away from the studio here. This picture comes courtesy of Peter Kevitkowskis. You'll get to meet him tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. He's our new weekend meteorologist. He's taking over now that Austin Haskins has moved on to greener pastures. We'll miss Austin, but uh, Peter's a pretty interesting fellow. Again, check him out tomorrow night. He'll be doing the weekends. Well, of course, I hope forever, but... Uh for me, forever, maybe another 10 years. We'll see how it rolls. Well, let's see how things are rolling temperature-wise at the airport right now. Current conditions there, as we look at the bridge from a different angle, 44 degrees. 73% is the relative humidity. South wind's going 5 miles per hour, and that southerly wind is one of the agents of change that's taken our temperatures back towards normal rather than record chillingly colder than normal. Air pressure right now, 1,027 millibars. It's on the high side, so... I think we're going to be dry through the weekend until just a slight shower chance Sunday night into Monday morning. Current temps, well, they're trying to drop into the 30s at least briefly here in the Upper Peninsula, 34 Waters Meet, 35 Ironwood. A chunk of Wisconsin now has dropped into the 30s as well, 32 Ashland, 37 Hayward, 36 for Superior, but with cloud cover uh, trying to increase as the southerly wind warms up our temperatures here. We actually may warm up by tomorrow morning, and I'll show you where the low temperatures actually will bottom out sunrise tomorrow. So this may be just a little bit of a blip. We're already seeing the warming trend here in northern Minnesota with places like Orr at 45 degrees. Doppler map right now shows, yeah, a couple of clouds trying to come in, coming in from the northwest up aloft while at the surface the air is moving in from the south. But not enough wind shear to create any tornadoes or anything like that. No, very calm weather here tonight and tomorrow and most of Sunday as well because of the higher pressure. Let's talk about fresh low pressure in the Gulf. Okay, Sally's in the Atlantic now, but already we've got Tropical Storm Beta forming up in the Gulf, and that could cause troubles. Of course, it could fade away before it turns into a hurricane and makes landfall, or it could do some more trouble. We'll keep our eye on that as time goes on, but casting our eye right now to the upper Midwest, yeah, the cooler weather from the past couple of days is going away as this low comes our way, first bringing warmer conditions, and perhaps by Sunday night and Monday, some showers in the wake as the trough passes by. So let's now get a look at our forecast for the next seven days. And in Minnesota tonight, low temps should go from upper 30s to mid 40s with a clearer sky. 
in Wisconsin and Michigan, yeah, if you're at the low 30s right now, you may warm up towards 40 as time goes on. So it's just a, a quick little blip of a cool down before a warming trend hits. And tomorrow then for Wisconsin and Michigan, that means highs in the 60s. And for Minnesota with sunshine, it means highs in the 60s as well. And now with the extended forecast, we'll get even warmer than that. There's that slight light rain chance Sunday night to Monday morning. And then the temperatures for at least three days go from 70 to 75. Tuesday still seems to be the pick of the litter, 75 degrees with sunshine. Thursday, we go back down a little bit, Tony. We drop her to 67 for a day. Okay. But as early as next Friday, 70 is not out of the mm -hmm. question again. I love these fall days where it doesn't get too hot. You know, you can go outside, have some fun, not break too much of a sweat. They're, uh, I just wish they weren't so numbered sometimes. Yeah, exactly. They, they go away. Yeah, thanks, Dave. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has died of complications from metastatic pancreatic cancer. She had survived multiple bouts with cancer, never shirking her duties on the bench. Ginsburg is being remembered as a champion of justice and a trailblazer for women. Natalie Brand takes a look at her life and legacy. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a star in the legal world, but most Americans learned her name in 1993 when President Bill Clinton tapped her for the Supreme Court. I, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, do solemnly swear. Poised and soft-spoken, she was a native New Yorker with a stellar resume and only the second woman ever picked for the nation's highest court. Decades earlier, after graduating from Columbia Law School, Ginsburg had to fight her way along her career path. She had the full support of her husband, Martin, but being Jewish, a woman, and a mother, she said were three strikes that put her out of the game. Rejected by law firms, she took a job as a law clerk, then a professor. In the 1970s, she started the Women's Rights Project at the ACLU. Having experienced discrimination, she devoted the next 20 years of her career to fighting it. Ginsburg took on a series of landmark cases dealing with gender equality. She argued six cases before the Supreme Court and won five. It contributes to the end of the days when women, at least half the talent pool in our society, appear in high places only as one at a time performers. One of the high court's more liberal voices, Ginsburg consistently supported civil rights, and she issued a strong dissent in the Bush versus Gore case, which decided the 2000 election. Ginsburg had several health scares. In 2018, doctors removed two growths from her lungs, causing her to miss six days in court. She survived colon cancer and two incidents involving pancreatic cancer. Her refusal to step down and her unparalleled work ethic earned her pop culture icon status. It was beyond my wildest imagination that I would one day become the notorious RBG. Ginsburg lost her husband in 2010 after 56 years of marriage, but she was back in court a few months later for what she called an exhilarating development when Justices Kagan and Sotomayor joined her on the high court. Another milestone for the women's movement, which Ginsburg helped pioneer. President Trump says he was unaware of her death during his rally in Bemidji. However, when told about her death, he said that she was an amazing woman and was saddened by the death. Well, to come on Live Local CBS3, in 2019, Lake Superior was at record highs. How does this year stack up? We'll fill you in after the break. CBS3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. During the three-day sale at Home Furniture, everything is on sale. Plus up to 15% off sale prices with instant factory rebates, free no-contact shipping, and no interest financing until 2022. Hurry, Home's three-day sale ends Sunday. Because of this, we built the most powerful Ford Explorer ever. Because of this, we built Ford Expedition with best-in-class towing. Because of this, we built Escape with Ford Copilot 360. And because Ford SUVs are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Now get over forty-seven fifty total cash on Explorer. That's over forty-seven fifty total cash only at your local Northland Ford dealer. At Super One Foods, we're dedicated to delivering the best products to your family's table. Our fresh, never frozen, and hand-breaded deli chicken is made every day with the best ingredients, including our signature breading. 
While you visit, choose from dozens of delicious sides to accompany your meal. And don't forget about our amazing selection in our bakery. We offer fresh baked breads, rolls, and desserts fit for any occasion. You'll find quality, convenience, and craftsmanship at Super One Foods. Every day delivering low prices and better choices. Northwest Outlet, now with extended hours, Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Now, get up to 60% off on Columbia and the North Face summer clothing and footwear at your favorite store, Northwest Outlet, during the end of summer sale. Check out our camping department. We've splashed items up to 30% off. Nobody carries more Carhartt and Area FR clothing for hard-working men and women than Northwest Outlet. Our truck headquarters carries toppers, lids, liners, and all accessories you'll want for your truck. Come and get it at Northwest Outlet Superior. I'm Tina Smith, and I approve this message because building a strong economy requires creating more opportunities for more people by working together. That's why I passed a law with Republicans and Democrats to expand vocational and technical training in schools across Minnesota. And I'm working to create internships and apprenticeships in manufacturing, healthcare, and clean energy. Because not everyone goes to college, but everyone needs a good job to give them and their families good lives. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30, followed by CBS 3 Live at 5 on Live Local CBS 3. Now at Home Seasonal Concepts, all porch and patio wicker is on sale with savings up to 50% on all your favorite outdoor wicker furniture. Plus, get free no-contact shipping and no interest financing until 2022. All porch and patio wicker on sale now at Home Seasonal Concepts. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's check in with meteorologist Caitlin Moffitt this morning. And the below average trend Thanks does so much for joining us. us. So wake up with us starting at 5 a.m. Watch Caitlin and Jenna in the morning at 5 and 6 a.m. on CBS 3. Watch Jeopardy at 4.30 followed by CBS 3 live at 5 on live local CBS 3. We've seen our share of destructive fall storms here in the Twin Ports in recent years. As we head toward October, the risk increases, threatening the Lake Superior shoreline. Meteorologist Alex Libby spoke with a lake-level expert to learn what this year could bring. Lake Superior in the fall can be beautiful, but also destructive. Last year, record high water levels caused thousands of dollars in damage to the shoreline along Park Point, and residents there are worried this year could bring the same. Yes, very concerned. According to the National Weather Service, Duluth's 2020 rain total is more than eight inches below normal. Deanna Apps, a scientist with the Army Corps of Engineers, says that could have helped Lake Superior's water levels drop. We're about two to three inches uh, below last year. She says even though the forecast is looking positive, that couple inch drop really won't make a difference should we see storms bring large waves this fall, considering Lake Superior set record high levels in 2019. Uh, we do expect water levels to be declining over these next couple months. Um, you know, water levels are still expected to, you know, just be below last year by a few inches. Um, so that threat of high water still remains. With flooding looking likely this fall, the Army Corps of Engineers has added 50,000 cubic yards of sand to the Park Point Beach near the lift bridge. But longtime Park Point resident Paul Troyer says he's still worried about the possible threat to his land. But that's a temporary... Uh, strategy. The last time they did it was in the late 90s and that all washed away. Now many are hoping for a little help from Mother Nature. Uh, so we really need those persistent dry conditions over several months to years uh, to get the, these water levels back to near average. According to apps, lake levels tend to fluctuate so she wouldn't be surprised if we're seeing lower lake levels than usual in a few years. Coming up in sports, D3 hockey in the Northland will have to wait. The WIAC makes big changes to the schedule. Kelly tells us what they are coming up. Watch Dave, Caitlin, and Austin for local weather you can trust on CBS. Our current president has failed. He's failed to protect us. He's failed to protect America. As president, I'll make you a promise. I'll protect America without exception every time. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Hi, I'm Steve Little with Bath Planet, your simple and affordable choice for bathtubs, showers, surrounds, and safety tubs. Right now, we are offering zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2022, or get your dream bathroom for as little as $69 a month. 
This offer ends September 30th, so call us today or go online to book your appointment to take advantage of this amazing offer. Bath Planet, out of this world service and down to earth price. Let's face it, it's been a tough year, but here in Minnesota, we're pretty tough too. We help each other, we work together, and we solve problems. That's what I try to do every day as your congressman, like helping to save pensions for our union workers, standing with snowplow drivers during their strike, and fighting to lower health care costs for seniors and our most vulnerable. I'm Pete Stauber, and I approve this message, because together, we're fighting for our way of life. Tune in Saturday mornings for the Link Ford lineup, where we will show you amazing vehicles on our lot, like this 2012 Ford F-150 XLT with a six and a half foot truck bed, a remote start, and more for just $302 a month. Or check out this 2017 Chevy Trax LT for only $249 a month. Want to see more? Then be sure to watch this Saturday. Visit us online at linkmotors.com or stop by to view our complete inventory. Link Ford, where reputation is everything. Steel. Find yours and find what fuels you. Not sold at Lowe's or the Home Depot. Pick up at over 9,000 local steel dealers. Find yours at steeldealers.com. I'm Sean Mullen, a physician assistant at St. Luke's Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. I first became interested in orthopedics from my own injuries and in high school sports. I became fascinated with the way the body recovers and heals. You only get one body, so if you take care of it well, that will pay dividends for you down the road. Taking a patient who is in a bad place from an injury or a condition, knowing that you're a part of their care and helping to increase their quality of life is one of my favorite things about working here. We can't deal with an economic crisis until you beat the pandemic. You can't have an economic comeback when almost a thousand Americans die each day from COVID. Mr. President, do your job. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. As we see some sports making a return this fall, Division III college sports have remained sidelined by the COVID-19 pandemic. That includes the MIAC, the UMAC, and as of today, the WIAC, or the WIAC. The Wisconsin-based conference announced today that they are suspending competition through December 31st. That includes both men's and women's hockey at UW-Superior and Northland College. In a statement, the WIAC announced that the official decision came after a thorough evaluation of risks and safety protocols. UW Superior Athletic Director Nick Bursick says that this announcement does not restrict their ability to begin playing, practicing rather, near the end of October in preparation for their competitive schedule set to begin in January. He also says they will continue to follow the guidelines set forth by the NCAA and the conference. In some girls tennis action today, Superior playing its fourth match in five days. They hosted Duluth East. In number two singles action, nice shot here by Natalie Getzman off the return. It settles right in front of her opponent for the point. And to doubles action, a little back and forth action. Eventually, the point is awarded to Greyhounds Ella McCartney, McCarthy rather, and Sylvie Markham. Superior would answer shortly after as Clara Lindholm with the forehand smash for the point. In the end, it's Duluth East who wins it 7 to nothing. And in soccer, a pair of 1-2 teams squaring off on the pitch as Duluth East faced Proctor. Wouldn't take too long for the road team to get on the board. Less than four minutes in, Kelsey Tangen boots one to the back of the net. Rails with the early lead. Greyhounds not letting up. Liv Winkler with some slick moves at the net, and she finishes nodding the game up at one goal apiece. Just before the half, Greyhounds take over as Winkler sets up Aaron Christensen out front. She puts it just out of the reach of the goaltender. East takes a 2-1 to one lead. They go on to win by the, a final of 5-1. to one. If your daughters ages 10 to 15 are looking to play hockey this year, registration is now open to play with the Duluth Icebreakers. Duluth Girls Hockey is open to all girls in Duluth ages U10 through U15. Throughout the season, season the Duluth Duluth girls hockey program works with the local Duluth rinks to schedule various practices, skill sessions, and scrimmage events for all girls registered with Duluth hockey at the local rinks and with Duluth girls ice 
girls hockey icebreakers. It is a great opportunity for young players to get ice time and sharpen their skills with other female hockey players. Registration closes on September 25th. Tryouts begin in October. And for more information, you can head to DuluthGirlsHockey.org. And they are also holding a Try Hockey Night this Monday, September 21st. Registration is now open and is on their website. For the second straight season, Bucks forward Gian Giannis Antetokounmpo has won his second straight MVP award for the NBA. Although Milwaukee fell short of a title down in the bubble, Giannis averaged 29.5 points, 13.5 rebounds, and 5.5 assists this season. He joins Hakeem Olajuwon and Michael Jordan as the only players to win the MVP and Defensive Player of the Year awards in the same season. It is the end of an era for Minnesota Wild fans. Miko Koivu started his career as an NHL player 15 seasons ago with the Wild. As of October 9th, the longtime captain will become an unrestricted free agent. The 37-year-old center started his career as the sixth overall pick by the Wild back in 2001. He's been Minnesota's captain since 2009, and he leads the team in games played, points and assists, and his 205 goals are second to just a guy named Marion Gabricks in 219. Koivu scored 21 points in his 55 games this season. That's his fewest since his rookie year. And both the Twins and the Brewers starting series tonight. Milwaukee facing Kansas City at last check. It was 9-4 Milwaukee. They have the lead. And Minnesota goes down in a boring one. 1-0 one to the Cubs. That's going to do it for sports tonight. We'll be right back after the break. CBS3 closed captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. Have our certified nurse midwives provide personal one-on-one -on -one support and guidance for your next pregnancy. Visit EssentiaHealth.org to learn more. Honey, what are you doing? Carpet's getting a little long. Tripping hazard. Whoa, 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 whoa! Run! <laughs> Who wants a brat? Honey, just get in already. It's okay to be a little overprotective. Seriously? After all, it's how we feel about our customers. Western National Insurance. You are not alone. Our whole community is pulling together. From your healthcare team. To your first responders. To your police force. To keep our community healthy and safe. If you can, please stay home during this time. This will slow the spread of the virus and can help save lives. By staying apart, we keep our community together. For the latest on COVID-19, please visit the CDC and Minnesota Department of Health websites. We're ready. We're united. We're here. Because of this, we built the most powerful Ford Explorer ever. Because of this, we built Ford Expedition with best-in-class towing. Because of this, we built Escape with Ford Copilot 360. And because Ford SUVs are built for this, you made Ford America's best-selling brand. Now get over 4,500 total cash on Escape. That's over 4,500 total cash. Only at your local Northland Ford dealer. When COVID struck, President Trump took action, cut off travel from China, the source of the virus. Joe Biden criticized, politicized, attacked President Trump's leadership. And what does Biden now propose while the pandemic still smolders around the globe? Increasing refugees by 700 percent from the most unstable, vulnerable, dangerous parts of the world. America can't afford weak Joe Biden. Times like these call for real leadership. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. What are you thinking? Thinking about burger fries and some pie. You know it's 9 o'clock in the morning. Well, then bring the pie first. It's back and better than ever. Perkins Burger Fries and Pie Combo. For a limited time, enjoy any burger, fries, and a slice of pie. And always served safely. Whether you dine in, order online, or get it to go. Order now at PerkinsToGo.com. Men's wardrobe provided by Mainstream Fashions for Men. Your fall fashion headquarters with new arrivals daily. Downtown Duluth. You like cheeseburgers, right? Everybody oh, likes cheeseburgers. Love cheeseburgers. Yeah. How'd you like to make money by tasting cheeseburgers? I would I would take the job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for some, this will be a dream job. In honor of National Cheeseburger Day, a casino review portal has announced it will pay 500 bucks to someone who will be a professional cheeseburger hmm. tester. That's something to put on your resume. Yeah. To apply, one must provide their name, email, and written description of why they'd be the ultimate cheeseburger tester. 
You must be 21 years and a resident of the U.S. or Canada and also not on a diet. That is according to the posting. So you can apply until September 28th. Uh, the winner will be announced October 8th. I can give up the diet for a few days. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> cheeseburgers are part of my diet. So. <laughs> Dave, warm up on the way? Finally? I do think so, yeah. Okay. After record cold this morning, we'll be back to normal temperature-wise for Saturday. A little warmer than normal Sunday. Sunday night, Monday morning, that's our next rain chance. Just a 30% shot. And then the warm-up really begins Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 70 to 75 degrees. Mm -hmm. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday.